have you been living over there for? I did not even notice you moving in. I'm chilled to bits, I'm so... You can't hear me. Oh, the radio. I'll just switch it off. I have to have the radio going full blast. If I'm at home on my own. Otherwise, I feel like putting my head into the oven. So, I have the stereo which is in the other room and in the kitchen, I have the cassette machine. So, whatever room I'm in, I always have company. Huh? In the bedroom. Not in the bedroom. In the bedroom, I have the 56 inch flat LCD television. It's playing 24 seven. Can you hear? I keep it turned right up. So as long as there is uh, music, sound, keeps me company. What do you do for company? Oh, you have a son. How lucky that is. I, I'm pregnant. Three months, four months, but can't really call it company. But I'm not moaning. No. I'm actually quite well off in this flat of mine. I have everything. Everything that I ever imagined or wished for. My husband, he treats me like porcelain. I'm so delicate. God, how much have I got? I've got, I've got a fridge. I know, everyone has a fridge. What's so special about my fridge? Well, my fridge can make round ice cubes. Small joys. And then, I have a 24 program, fully automatic washing machine. It washes, it dries, and oh my God, it dries so much that sometimes I have to wet everything again so that I can iron it proper. Everything comes out bone dry. <coughs> and then, I have a, an electric rice cooker, an electric kettle, a micro one, a split AC, and in case the electricity goes, I also have an inverter backup. So, there is no dearth of light in my house. And there is music in every room. What more could I ask for life? I'm just a woman after all. Oh, of course I had a uh, women to clean before, but the first one, she ran away. Then I got another one and uh, she also ran away. Why do these cleaning women, they run away? Oh, no, no, no. Not because of me. It's actually my brother-in-law. He, he is a uh, Grope up. He gropes them. He feels them up. All women. Sick? Off his mind? Well, he was trying to do something with these women that they were not too keen on. And fair enough. I mean, just imagine, okay? Here you are, minding your own business, getting on with the housework, and suddenly, whoops! A hand comes right up your, mm, gives you the creeps. You should look at my brother-in-law's hand. Thank God he has only one now. What happened to him? Accident, car accident. Just imagine, young boy of 30, and every single bone in his body, it's broken. He's in plaster from head to toe. They just left like a little hole around his mouth so that he can eat and breathe and, yeah. He tries to talk something, but doesn't make sense. But they left his eyes. His eyes are all right, so uh, they did not plaster his eyes. And that wandering hand, that's all right too. And the other thing, that's also all right. We've just met and uh, 
Now, I don't want you to think anything badly of me, but uh, he, he's all right down there. He's much too all right down there. He's more than being all right down there. He's always wanting to, uh, so he has to take his mind off it. So he's reading. He's educating himself. How? Porn. His room is full of those disgusting magazines with naked women in weird positions. Oh. Poor women. I bet. After remaining in those positions for too long, they also need a plaster, just like my brother-in-law. Flesh, all blown up in full color. Looks like a butcher's advert. So yes. The cleaning women left. I have to look after my brother-in-law. I do it for my husband, you know, he's a brother after all. Respect. Of course he respects me and excuse me. That must be my husband. He always phones me around this time. Janu. Listen up, you pig. You are going to rot in hell, you mother. French. Pardon my French. Sometimes when you have to, you just have to. Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't my husband. Whatever next. Someone. Some pig. He phones me. Once, twice, thrice, sometimes thousand times in a day. <coughs> and he says these dirty, filthy words to me. No, I don't know what they mean. I looked up in the dictionary, I don't know what they mean. He abuses me on the phone. Sick? I'm already taking care of one sick person. Don't expect me to become like a nursemaid to every sick person living in my pin coat. That must be him. I am going to seal his mouth with this hot breath. Listen up, you pig. The police has got this phone tapped, and if... Janu! Oh, no, 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 I'm not getting ratty at you. I'm so sorry. I thought you were... Oh, you know, there is this bloke. He's been calling. Yes. He says you owe him some money. Do you owe any money to anyone? Yes. So to scare him, Janu, I said the word police. Of course, I'm at home. <laughs> of course I'm alone. Janu, what number did you dial? And who picked up the phone? Your wife. Besides, how can I step out when you've kept me locked up in this flat? Husband, what love? No, I'm not talking to anyone. Yes, I said love. I say love to myself every now and again. Love, love, love. Of course I'm not happy, Janu. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. What if who calls up? Oh, that bloke, that man about the money. Hmm. You know what I'll do? I will switch off the radio, the stereo, the television. I'll pretend I'm not at home. Hmm? You know what I'll do for you, Janu? I will go into the toilet and I'll put my head down the bowl and pull the chain. Does that make you happy? Huh? Ah, oh, you're going berserk. Go hang yourself. I see you, pig. There. He's watching me with his binoculars. Oh, no, you can't see him. He's in that building on the fourth floor. Oh. This is what life has come down to. A poor woman, a poor pregnant woman, cannot even wear anything comfortable. 
and she's working at her own home. Hmm. What should I wear? Should I wear like an overcoat or the curtain? How about my husband's three-piece suit? Or maybe I should cover myself in plaster like my brother-in-law. The police? Oh no! I'm not going to call the police. Oh, what do you think will happen if I call the police? No way, no chance. The police, oh, oh please, the police will get here and they will start giving me the third digging. Madam, how dressed or um, undressed were you, madam? Uh, are you sure, madam, that uh, you were not leading him on? So sorry to say, madam, but uh, all this looks like a case of uh, striptease. And then they will charge me with obscene and vulgar allegations and accusations, which is going to cause the breach of peace at my home. I will deal with it myself. Photographers, they say, are uh, very violent people. First, they frame you. Then they shoot you. And then they hang you. Hey, 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 don't run away. He's running away. You don't want your two minutes to fame. People are really scared of being photographed these days, huh? Did I give you a good laugh? <laughs> you think I'm off my trolley? Well, it is better to be off my trolley than to be how I was two months back. You should have seen me. I used to swallow sleeping pills, eat rat poison, drink cat poison, drink vinyl, anything, anything that could kill me. Nothing killed me. And then I got pregnant. So I felt a little responsible. I'd even cut my wrist, you know. Ah, I still have the scars, they're fresh. <laughs> Can you see? Can you see my scars? Can you see? Yes, I know. Every scar has a story. You want to know my story. Oh. It's a sad story. Maybe I should share it with you. It'll help me get it off my chest. I can trust you, right? You won't judge me. So, it all happened because of this 26-year-old uh, boy handsome and charming. I used to be on top of the world. I used to sing morning, noon, and night. Not at night. At night I would cry to myself, you depraved. That is my brother-in-law. Whenever he wants bo something, he blows the trumpet. Please don't go. I'll be back in a tick. Hey, what is it? I'm having a chat with a friend of mine. Oh, you don't get tired, do you? Oh, you're busy. Oh. Oh. I wish. I wish you could understand what he's trying to tell me through that trumpet. When they take that plaster off his body, I 
I'm going to break and re-break every single bone in your body. And I will do that to my husband's My husband, when I married him, he buried me under his bank. And he started to play his uh, habits with me. Janu, look at you. Oh, you're so innocent, so nice. You know, you're still a little child. I need to take care of you. I need to look after you. Look after me? His idea of looking after me. He beats me till kingdom comes. And then he wants to go to bed with me. And I have to be willing and wanting and wishing warm and washed instant sex instant coffee but thumb as long as i'm breathing that's all that he's worried about and yes i'm not oh, oh, in between so that he thinks that I'm into the act. But I feel nothing. And then I stopped worrying about it because I thought that's how women are supposed to feel after all. Until I met this boy. So one day I said to my husband, Johnny, I'm really bored of being just a housewife. I want to do something more meaningful with my life. I want to I want to do something to exercise my brain, and I want to learn a language. Yes, I want to learn a language. I want to learn French. French, he said, uh, fine. And next day, he uh, brought home this 26-year-old uh, boy who was a good French teacher to me. Only three weeks later, I realized that this boy, he's in love with me. How did I come to know? You know, so one day I was reciting a verb in French and I was trying to remember the word and I was waving my arms and I accidentally brushed his hands and he started trembling all over and he started stammering in French and I could not understand a single word. What do I know of love except for my brother-in-law's wandering hand, the peeping Tom, the pig on the phone and my husband. I I started feeling like these little explosions of love in my stomach. Whoosh! Whoosh! You are on a slippery slope to sin, my child, I said to myself. And I stopped the French classes. The boy, he reacted to it quite unexpectedly. So every morning I would step out for uh, shopping and he would be standing there at the gate, looking pale and sad, so handsome. He would look at me with his blue eyes, sometimes brown, sometimes yellow, sometimes green, depends on the color of the shirt that he would wear. He would look at me with hope. And I would look away. Go away. You were just a good French teacher to me. 
that really put the wind up him. And what he did next was like a scene from French cinema. So next morning, I step out as usual for my shopping, and I don't see him at the gate. I'm hurt. But I should get used to it. He's not a part of my life. So I walk into the market and something catches my eye. The walls of the buildings, they were all covered in huge writing in red paint. It said, Je t'aime. I love you. In French. He wrote it in French so that no one could understand. I have to, I have to forget this. God, please help me forget this. I dashed back into the house. Oh, I have to forget this, God, help me. So in order to help me forget, I hit the bottle. Sucking it down like a syrup. Oh, so bitter. And there I was, with my bitter thoughts, my bitter emotions, and uh, to top it all, the bitter alcohol. And the doorbell rings. Who is it? It's the boy's mother. Wow, how embarrassing. Yes, she said. My son is dying and we are desperate. You have to come and save him. What am I supposed to do? Well, the least you can do is come home and see him. I'm not a statue. So I went to see him. And there he was. Pale and sad. Looking at me, he burst into tears. Looking at him, I burst into tears. Looking at both of us, the mother burst into tears and she left the room. And we were alone. I hugged him and he hugged me. He kissed me and I kissed him. And I said, stop! That really shocked him. Look, I'm not ashamed of admitting that I, I like you. As a matter of fact, I lo love you. I 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 was screaming my head off. I love you. It was the alcohol. Later on, they told me. I was shouting so loud that people in the other buildings were hanging outside the windows, trying to see what's going on. Who is in love with who? The man on the fifth floor? I'm not in love here, I'm married. What a spectacle. Thank God, no one knew who I was. I love you, but I cannot have a relationship with you because I have a husband, and I have a brother-in-law. That shocked him again. He jumped out of his bed. God, he was in his boxers. He grabbed the knife and uh, put it next to his throat and said, if you do not love me the way I think you should love me, I will kill myself.
I'm not a murderess. Athena, how could I sacrifice the life of this young boy for my own selfish satisfaction? <coughs> I couldn't do it. And so I kissed him. And I found love. Soft and gentle. God bless that night I found love. And then, I went there the next day, the next day, the day after that, and every single day. He was ill after all, wasn't he? And when I got back home, I would be stunned. Why? Things like these. They only happen in the movies. And when my husband saw me in that days, he thought that I had taken to the bottle in a big way. So he locked all the alcohol away. What a bug. And then he got uh, suspicious of me. And he had me followed. So one day, I was in the boys' bed, standing there naked. And he is standing there naked too. And we are beginning to have a conversation. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And the door burst open. It's my husband in his three-piece suit. Is it you? Oh, you should have the decency to knock before you barge in. Why did I open my mouth? I mean, things like these, they don't happen to you every week. Standing there stark naked next to a man stark naked with your husband standing there in his three-piece suit. Why did I open my mouth? Yes, it's me, you peasant! He called me a peasant. And then he started shouting like a lunatic. And he tried to throttle the boy. And he tried to throttle me at the same time. But my husband has got only two hands. So no matter how hard he tried, he could not squeeze the both of us together. But I was helping my I was squeezing my own throat against the boys. I'd even stop breathing. I shut my mouth, thank God! I want to die! Suddenly, my nose, my nose started Breathing on its own. My nose, my nose has a mind of its own. And in, in rush the mother, the sister, the grandmother, and I'm standing there just as the day I was born with my nose doing its job. I dashed into the bathroom. And I grabbed the razor blade. And I started slashing every way that came into my sight. I am searching for them. One slash, two slash. I did not know there were so many weights in her body. I started slashing them lengthwise so that I could die quicker, faster. But my husband, he wanted
wanted to kill me personally himself. So he put his shoulder to the door and he broke it down. And when he saw me fainting in that pool of blood, my God, my blood is so red. He looked at me and said, I'm not going to kill you, bitch. I will take you to the hospital. And then he wrapped me in a clean bed sheet so that the car remains clean. Then he took me to the hospital and he forgave me. Ever since that day, he's been so kind to me, so terribly kind that He's kept me locked up in this flat. <laughs> Solitary confinement. <laughs> I know it's illegal. <laughs> he won't even believe it's his baby. He'll want me to kill it. <laughs> I know it's illegal. <laughs> Police! Are you out of your mind? Do you have a relative working in the police? I am sharing my life with you. Why do you want to call the police? See, if the police comes, the entire story about the boy is going to be out. And then we will have to go through a legal separation and my husband, he will happily walk out. And I'll be left behind with my brother-in-law's wandering hand and this baby. Sweetheart, why are you phoning me? I miss you too, but how can we meet when he keeps me locked up? What? You're going to break in? How? Hey, listen, don't. The crazy boy, he's hung up. He's lost the plot. He's saying he's going to break into my house with a bent nail. No, but what will my neighbors think when they see him fiddling at my door with a bent nail? Bloody hell. That was quick. Hey, go away. My husband will be home any minute. Money? What money? Who are you? This is a disaster. It's the man about the money. He's come to collect the debt. There is no one at home. Yes, I know I'm at home, but who am I? I'm, I'm just the maid. Husband? Who said husband? I said husband. Oh, my husband. My husband is a cook here. Oh, no, 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 no. Sir and madam have gone out uh, to the cruise. My car. No, no, no. Sir, madam, tell me not talk to strangers. Do not open the door. Even if I want to, I cannot open the door because it is locked from outside. Madam thinks that I will steal things and run away, so she keeps me locked up. Oh, no, no. I will not starve to death. There's police? Hey, why do you want to call the police? Listen, there's enough food in the fridge. My husband is a cook. He's gone to call the police. I think he's bluffing. I want my coffee. Crazy boy, the debt collector, or the police, I'm not opening that door. No. 
You have the keys, use them. Lost the keys? He lost the keys. Oh, you lost the keys because you want me to starve to death. Or you want me to get raped by your brother. I see, that's your revenge. Well, I have information for you. Your friend was here. Yes, the man about the money. And he's going to call the police. They'll be here any minute. Oh, no. He did not speak to me. I'm not an idiot. They spoke to the maid. <laughs> of course, Janu. We have a maid, a maid, a nurse, a do all a wash, all a mess. That mess over. I'm not getting hysterical. I've not gone crazy. I'm glad that the police will be here any minute and all this will end. Oh, yes. You run away, you! Don't you dare show me your face again, you! Dyslexic! He reads perfectly fine. I just made a fool of myself. I want my coffee. Do not stop this crap. I will put a bomb under your receiver and I will blow your gums, you bastard! I am going to be a mother soon. What if someone treated your mother this way? That shut him up. Finally, I found something that appeals to his decency. Oh. He's an orphan. <laughs> you pig, you swine, you fool! Ow, you scratch me so bad. I want my coffee. Oh, bloody hell. Who is it? Hey, hey, listen. My husband will be home any minute. And so will be the police and also someone looking for money. You run, you run for your life. Hey! Don't you dare fiddle at my door with that bent nail. It's the crazy boy. Help! What do you want? <coughs> what? What do you want my hand for? <coughs> he wants to shake hands with me. My husband will be home any minute, you silly boy. Why do you want to shake hands with me? Oh, uh, you don't give up, do you? Here. Whoa! Oh, hey, stop pulling me. I cannot evaporate and pass through that crack. Oh, you're haunting me. Whoa, let go. that door behind you with a bent nail. I actually leave that nail with a caretaker. My husband has lost his keys. His hand is still there. I bit him. Yeah, he's bleeding. What should I do? Disinfect it? Dettol. I have Dettol. My husband gives me everything. I have Dettol, of course. Oh, honey, I'm such a murderess. I almost killed you. Hey, oh my God. Oh, you're bleeding. Oh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, hey. Yeah. Now go. What? 
You're not getting a kiss here. I'm not giving you a kiss. I can't even pass my head through this crack. Do you want to crash and kiss me? What about my ears? Oh. You don't give up, do you? Here. of his life. They will have to deliver his pension at my doorway. My husband will slaughter me. What shall I do? Huh? Water and soap. How they do it for the rings. Yes, I'll use hot water. It'll be faster. Sort of. Okay, so hot water for the wounded. Grope for the groper. And a phone call from a pigging's phone pig. Hello, pig. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was my husband. Oh, no, no, no. My husband is not at home. Can I take the message? Ha! Huh. Congratulations. I hope, I hope they're both sons. I think you've dialed a wrong number. Well, a man does live here, but the only person he gets pregnant is me. No? No! Oh! He got your daughter pregnant too? What a pig! No, no, no. No, he did not mention it to me. I'm so sorry. How old is your daughter? 16. Well, if you can take my kind advice, you should keep your 16-year-old daughter locked up in a flat and not let her wander around in the streets getting pregnant by married women's husbands. My husband keeps me locked up. Look how old am I? He still keeps me locked up. Bastard. Tart. He calls me a tart. His daughter gets pregnant by my husband, and he calls me a tart. Oh, leave me alone! I have a family disaster at hand. I have a pregnant husband. I want my coffee. You will not believe. I poured hot water into his eyes, my brother-in-law's. Yeah. What should I do? Bernal! Of course I have Bernal. My husband gives me everything. Of course. not hot. I said that to scare my brother-in-law. Oh, it was hot. Well, you got your arm back. Listen, put this Bernal when you get back home. Sorry, 
I'll make you so sorry. I bit him twice. He doesn't love me. He's just another pig. He was using my hand. Oh. Nobody loves. Nobody loves. Only my baby loves me. And I love my baby. Nobody loves. No! I did not know this existed. My husband he has all the answers. I'm going to kill myself. Yes? Yes. Oh, thank you so much for your kind advice. I'll do it right away. Honey! One down. Go, call the police. Sweetheart, I'm all yours. Let's go out for a nice and sexy walk. Two down. Down. <coughs> Janu. Yes, I'm fine. You know, it's so calm up here. It's really calm. I'm so calm. Huh? Oh, you found the keys? Oh, yes, please come home. I'm waiting. Calmly. <laughs> 